You know, I have heard my whole life, and I'm sure you've heard your whole life too, that communism has failed everywhere it's ever been tried. Never has any society in history ever been successful with a socialist government. Just completely failed. This is repeated throughout the country of the United States as fact, right? It is, it is undisputed fact. Everywhere socialism has ever been implemented, it has been complete and an utter complete failure. It's never worked. It fails everywhere it's ever been tried. Well, no, I don't know exactly uh, what every detail was about the Soviet Union, and whether or not every, every allegation against the Soviet Union is true or false. I don't know exactly if every allegation they make against Mao is ex explicitly true or explicitly false. I don't, I don't know. I don't know in detail everything that went on in the history of the 20th century and Marxist-Leninist governments. I know there's a lot of lies and blatant lies that are told about socialist countries. I also know that there's a lot of mistakes that have been made, so I don't know the specifics. But what I do know is that this notion that socialism has failed everywhere it's ever been tried is so utterly ridiculous, it's laughable. In 1917, Russia was an agrarian, impoverished society. By the 1930s, it was an industrial powerhouse. It had electrified the country. It was producing more steel than any other country in the world. It had some of the largest hydroelectrical power plants in the world. By the 1960s, even after a horrendous world war that killed 26 million people, they rebuilt and they were fully industrialized and they were helping countries like Egypt and Syria and other countries around the world to industrialize and build up millions of people raised out of poverty, health care for the population, universal employment, wiping out illiteracy. There is no way you can say that the Soviet Union was an economic failure. The Soviet Union had problems, but it was an economic success if there ever has been. A whole country was rapidly raised up from poverty and transformed. And the same thing is true for China. You know, China used to be called the sick man of Asia, right? They, they, they used to talk about China as a country where people die all the time from famines. There would be famines all the time because they didn't have a strong central government because they didn't have their, their own industries, because the fields in China that should have been growing uh, crops to feed people were instead growing opium poppies because the British had forced the opium trade onto them. So all over the world, all over the world, China was known as being one of the poorest countries in the world. And now, if we look at China today, it is the second largest economy in the world. And it is the Chinese Communist Party and their leadership that has raised China up from poverty and made it into a global superpower. China, at this point, has a largely state-run economy. I always laugh. It's very funny. You know, people, people think that Obamacare is communism. If you point out China's economic successes, we'll always insist China is capitalist. Well, I mean, Obamacare, I mean, there's no government health care, no public option. Somehow that's communism. But China, with state-run banks, state-run industries, five-year economic plans, a ruling communist party, somehow China, it must be capitalist. Well, China is not capitalist. Capitalism is a system in which the means of production only function as preliminary transformation into capital, meaning that production is only carried out so that those who own the major centers of economic power can make profits. In China, there is a state central plan that guides production. And even private, the private sector is not operating simply according to what's profitable. Even the private sector is mostly regulated and controlled by the state. The Chinese Communist Party, which is based in communities, which has over 90 million members, is actively guiding the economy. They have made mistakes and they have problems, corruption and other things. But there is no question in my mind that just as the Soviet Union was a socialist society, China today is a socialist society.